Hi all guys, and my personal hello to Thess, Babushka is coming. I'm sorry for my good voice, I'm sick right now. My English is crazy too, I never learned it in school and use only Russian in life. So you are watching very old game from CBL Pelon 2000. This is loser bracket final between me, Polisati and Lekerman. I don't really think I need to explain who Lekerman is, everyone knows him as a very good dueler from Quake 1. I went to losers after I played Fatality in the winner bracket. It was very very nervous match, on turn 2 I lost only one frag. After Fatality I had hard long way in loser bracket. I mid treble Lekerman Nate and beat him on the TN. Score was 4-3, close game as well. But strongest opponent for me was another Russian, it's power or just power in my language. Why him? He knows me very well in game. Usually at home I was better than him, but CPL it was always high level and everybody tried to do his best and nobody wanna lose. So if power beat me, it was really great disappointment for me. Now you see an interesting moment. When you usually go to red armor and hit enemy on grenades, usually you try to hit some classic rail, but I decided to use my dark horse status on this tournament and did an expected jump to Lekerman. As you can see, Laker wasn't ready for his turn, so my rockets from me and I taken the lead. This fight didn't bring me one more threat. I was 150 on 20 armor, but I decided not to risk. I think like a man then with 10 points or something. Now some words about map what we played. This is the TM3 DM1, it's the same to the TM3 Tourney 1 with few minor changes. Where is the camper place, our lighting gun jump at? As I remember, Power hit there when he played Neok. Also, where is the quad damage near plasma, but we turn it off in duels, of course. Nowadays, people use the TM3 DM1 in some 2 on 2 TDMs. I still controlling Nega Hell, but Red Armor gone to Laker. Doing useful jump to Bazooka here. Really can't understand what to do after quick first frag. By the way, this is early quick free point release with floor damage. If you shoot with rocket and where is it? Enemy above of this kind of floor, he takes splash damage. Well, now you see the game is more tactic. I'm still in the lead, but Lakerman controlling the level. Red armor and now mega health taken by Lakerman. What else can I say about Laker? Swedish top player and American fatality were two big names on CPL Kalan. Nobody takes me serious just because Europeans and Americans play different international lands regularly, but Russians were like behind the iron curtain. Just kidding. Of course we were able to go to Europe, but we always had troubles with it. In Russia you need to get international passport to go outside. Also we were too young and doesn't look like serious guys when we went to embassy for visa. Before CPL clone I won small European championship in Hungary. It calls earthquake. It was my ZM practice if you want. Well I coming back to Lekerman. In October of 2000 the first World Sabbath Games challenge took place in South Korea. We have no qualifiers in Russia, so just reading coverage and watching demos from the tournament. Lekerman was very very strong there and finished second after fatality. Some months prior to WCG, Lekerman wins Swedish Quad Arena with no really problems from our. I didn't come because of passport, but power and another Russian star Pele then there. Lekerman beat Pele with 2-0 by maps. Scores were close, but win is win. Pele was only 8 on this tournament and Power was in top 16. So as you can see Laker was ready to kick some ass on CPL Kalan. But I wasn't afraid of Laker and Fatality as well. I just wanted to show my skill. And when I played Lakerman I think not about current game. Just about how can I beat Fatality. I will remind you I lost him just one frag so in next games I just thinking about revenge. Let's talk some more about maps. In Russia we prefer Tourney 2 and Tourney 4 instead of ZTN. Actually, I cannot find someone to proxy on ZTN. Nobody wants to play it in Moscow. Before CPLCon I played a lot with Pele, he really helped me. I don't remember why, but our local rival gone background. Pele didn't come CPL Clown because he lost Russian qualifier in St. Petersburg. Meet me in finals. Four very exciting games. 
power got qualified in Cyprus. Very fair. <laughs> anyway, I got nervous with Laker. It's loser bracket final, so you just can't be like a machine. Now I just did some stupid moves and didn't hear enemy from behind. Oh, it was a bad luck for Laker man. He should kill me easily, but he hit some rockets and after his fight tried to get him with rail. Pure arcade. CPL Cologne opening doors on 8th of December, my birthday. It's why I have special motivation to play good. Remember, me and Power ordered a big pizza and some cola and we celebrate between games. I never had a good timing of items, maybe it's why I hadn't any chance against Fatality on ZTM. Meanwhile map is still under control by Lackerman. I tried to get something more than yellow armor and avoid close fight. And Laker grabs some stupid rockets which cool him down. Now I hit the first rail but after I decide to control Lakerman like a girl. Not very smart. So I missed and now Omega goes to Laker. Here is another air rocket and some granite hit before. It was funny. Trying to damage through floor. Today it looks funny. But not so funny as we failed rocket jump. Oh my god, we somehow fail. Yeah, Lackerman is nervous too. Looks like Treble didn't help him much when he said I'm not bad but be able. This dance ends after two rail hits. I cannot explain why Laker did all this. Nervous, nervous. Why are you doing Laker? Why try to shoot me on plasma? Why you not just running away? Looks like Lackerman very upset after second frog on red armor and can't control himself. It's why we see Lackerman jump into a rocket launcher. I'm sure he knew I would come there, but he didn't use teleport to go away. Well, I didn't play much on ZTN before, but I knew where to go for spawns. And finally I got mega health. I think it last one for me. Anyway, I didn't expect so easy frags to me from Swedish player. It's why you see me failed right now with rockets. It sounds incredible, but this is my last red armor as well, and more than 7 minutes to time limit. I think it's important to take small health in a match like this. Now I've lost position and Lakerman don't let me go into my health room. I tried to get red, but getting free rockets from Laker. It's very similar to my first frag, but no luck to like a man here. Looks like I have no place to run. Oops, like a man finally catch me. He showed a good rocket on a red armor and then he just went to crazy arcade on shards. Very aggressive. Of course the score 4-0 didn't show real skill of players of this match. Lakerman understood this and also he felt his aim at least is not worse than my, and doesn't matter what score is. So now I'm just running away and try to get some armor. Even L01 is good for me. It's hard to believe, but first part of the game surprised me as well, and I just lost concentration. So from 8th minute, I just moving from yellow armor to yellow armor. Maybe I am yellow submarine. Another attempt of Lakerman to catch me near to lightning gun. If I didn't hit the first rocket, that could finish bad to me. Oh, another bad luck for Lakerman. He didn't think I would bounce stairs maybe, and he going to rail me but got a rocket instead of. Comments. 
By the way, we both almost don't use lighting gun. I use it once, maybe, when I scored for frag. Today it looks fantastic, shop is most popular and strongest weapon. But in 2000, quake and shooting stands were different, physic as well, so you cannot shaft so comfortable, especially when playing ZTN. For sure, I played many games on ZTN at CPL Cologne. Power, Travel, Fatality, Lakerman, someone else I can't remember right now. But I didn't have enough ZTN experience with really strong players before, it's why I preferred Rocket Launcher. Now I am 100 and 150 armor, but Laker don't let me go from plasma. Now map is not so big for me. Laker don't care about yellows, so now I am 200 armor and didn't heal like a man from a jet pad. This is the place where mega health spawns, but just not for me. I'm full of armor again, but can't leave from under pressing. Maybe my predict rockets too early. That's crazy fight. My two first rockets were good, but like it didn't care. Maybe he was hungry. Well, two health points left for me. But I'm still alive. 11th minute close to end and nothing really changed in this game. Lakerman is still being like a terminator and I cannot stop him. Today it looks funny right guys? Such crazy arcade just impossible between two good players. It stopped very easy with Shaft for example. But I never was a top aimer, never. Tactic was my best. And Lakerman just using it and trying to smash me with different weapons. But it's not easy on ZTN, this map is very good if you need to keep score. You can build a small house in a plasma room if you want. But you always need to be careful with teleports, now Lakerman gets my ass. After some splash rockets I tried to hit another one, why, I don't know, teleport was so close, but score is 4-2. Just 2 minutes till the end. And now I just did like a man's mistake, jumped down and tried to get armor instead of teleporting. I hear him very well, but for free now. Hmm, <laughs> it's interesting. I had only plasma and 30 yellow armor, but Lakerman let me go. Two minutes ago, his arcade was unstoppable, but now he preferred to take control of the map. Something like I am Lakerman, and two minutes ago I had nothing to lose, but now I have time to kill him more and tie the score. This is due psychology, guys. Fuzz, you hear me? <laughs> Oops, unexpected rocket. Looks like Lakerman didn't see it. No more yellow armor for me, that's not good. Meanwhile we hear one minute warning. Usually you stop being nervous even more after that, especially with such score, and especially when you know this is top 2 game at least. Well, I'm not trying to shoot Lakerman anymore, just running away, so I just want to keep an end stage I met before. I even didn't see to Lakerman's side and fly to a teleport with rail slug in my ass. Now I am camping teleport, nervous, nervous, nervous. Lakerman is very close. Hey, hey, hey. 
Some luck to me when Lakerman ran to a rocket launcher but not to shaft. I think it really saves me. And this is final score. Thank you for watching guys. See you.